unbelievable. The days of lugging around 100 pound amps, this is two pounds, seven ounces. We'll call it just under two and a half pounds for this entire unit. Hey, welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's the lovely Carla behind the camera tonight. And this is Play and Trade Guitars where we play it and trade it. And Christmas has come a little bit early. This, I almost fell out of my chair when I saw Kemper announce the new Kemper player. It's in this box. I have the unit here. I'm gonna show you what I hope to replace in my live rig. And for me, the guitar player that I am, I am so excited about what this Kemper player is gonna do for me. I'll tell you all about it at the top. Make sure you hit subscribe. We're giving away a Martin D28 when we hit 100,000 subscribers. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and sign up via Gleam in the description. And if you're in the market for any new gear, click to buy new gear using our link. It supports us directly when you buy gear using our link, so thank you. Without further ado, let's unbox the Kemper player. I'll give you a first look, and then we're gonna make some sounds. Before I unbox it, let me tell you about what I do when I play live. I basically have one of three setups that I currently use live. If I'm playing in a club um, and I'm playing through a tube amp, I've got this. I've got the Fender uh, Reissue Deluxe Reverb Amp. It's a 112. I'll typically put just like an SM57 on it. And I have a small pedal board uh, that I'll run in the front of it. That's, that's kind of my most analog rig. If I'm playing at a larger venue uh, with a bigger array or sound system like a feeder, my preference is to use a Kemper and I got it racked up in this 8U rack with a power conditioner. This is the Kemper rack, unpowered. And then I have my in-ears unit mounted in here as well. This is, now, it's not terribly heavy, but it's still a piece of gear. It's roughly, I mean, if you're talking about carting around gear, it's about the same size as the Reverb Deluxe. My hope is to take what's in this box and replace all of this and put everything on one pedal board. My in-ears, the Kemper player, all my pedals, and have it roll to the gig and be ready to go because I'm kind of one of those guitar players who is set it and forget it. I put so much time into Kemper and I think Kemper is the best in terms of sounds. The profiler I think is unbeat in the way it actually sounds. And because I've put so much time into my Kemper unit, I am thrilled at the prospect of being able to convert what I've done on the Kemper and put it in a small unit that I can mount on my pedal board, plug it in and be done. So let's get it out of the box and then we'll see how it sounds. Let's head over to the bench and unbox. So yeah, the whole world of Kemper now in a box this big. Let's open it up and take a look. I had no idea when these were gonna be shipping. I put the order in so fast that I accidentally ordered two of these. And uh, the first one shipped and uh, it showed up in like two days. I couldn't believe it, I'm so excited. So here we are, a box within a box. Kemper Profiler, the Profiler Player. So let's get it out of here and see what we're working with. Wow, there it is, the first look. So it's the size of about two distortion pedals, as Kemper says. Let me get the plastic out of the way so we can take a look here. Okay, here it is, a first look. And as others have pointed out, a few key differences. There is no screen. You can control this uh, with an iPad or your iPhone or the computer rig manager. Um, another thing that I noticed and others have noticed as well is your main output is not stereo. You just got this one XLR for a mono output. That's a little bit different. We'll see how that sounds when we plug it in. But it's got tons of functionality in terms of USB connectivity. You can use, you can use this as a Wi-Fi hotspot. You can connect via Bluetooth to your computer, your phone, your iPad. Um, and it's very much like what a modern player would be used to on a gig where there's a mixing board that you connect to via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to adjust your levels for your in-ears. And basically, if you're like me, where you kind of are a set it and forget it, kind of get your dream tone and let's roll with it, this is your amp. It's got the Kemper stack, which is the head uh, or the amp and the speaker cabinet. It's got the effects one and two. There's two effects slots ahead of the stack, and then there's two post stack effects for something like reverb and delay, uh, which should go after. And then pretty simple controls. You've got a master volume, which is global. That's the master volume of the entire unit. You can adjust rig volume if you need to per rig, and then it's got space for 50 rigs on here. Uh, gain from ultra clean to distorted, which you can put on any rig, regardless of uh, the rig or the amp type. And then pretty simple EQ, like something you'd be used to on an amp. You've got bass, middle, treble, and then a bank to shift through uh, five at a time. So one, two, three, four, five times 10. So it can store up to 50 rigs on here. And this is a nice feature. They've got actually, it looks like three buttons, but really there's five because you have one, two, three, one, two, 
two, three. And these come from the factory as a page up, page down kind of thing with an effects trigger in the middle, which you can completely customize this using the app or the computer to make these whatever you want. Since I typically will run a whole show on one rig, I am probably gonna go ahead and reassign these as effects. So maybe I turn on a boost or maybe I turn on a chorus or a flanger that I use rarely, but I just want it there to step on if it's not on my actual real pedal board. Uh, that said, it's super light. In fact, just for the heck of it, let's get a weight. Unbelievable, the days of lugging around 100 pound amps. This is two pounds, seven ounces. We'll call it just under two and a half pounds for this entire unit, which, re which replaces uh, your entire amp rig. And it's just incredible from that standpoint. Uh, it's really well made. And I'll tell you what I love about Kemper is that they have gone the extra mile the whole time that they've been in business. They set the bar so high, not only for what a profiler can do, but in terms of their support, their regular updates, and everything that they do, um, there's pros and cons to all the various modelers and profilers. I just feel like the profiling sound of Kemper is, is best in class still compared to anything. And that's why I was super pumped. Also in the box here, you have the AC adapter. I like that this is a fairly simple AC adapter. Also, whether you're in the States uh, or in Europe, they've got the appropriate adapters or Asia, wherever you are in the world, you've got the appropriate adapter to use here. Some of the adapters, like my HX Stomp that I have, I'll show you, has a pretty bulky, big adapter. So I kind of like that they kept things simple with the actual type of power that they have here. And then beyond that, you got kind of just your kind of quick guide. Um, and one other thing to note, this does not profile. Um, what I see this as is I've already got my Kemper, and let's head over there now as we get ready to plug this in. The way I'm personally viewing this is I've got my Kemper rack unit, which I'm now gonna keep in studio. It's like my Kemper home base. And then when I leave, this is kind of my satellite Kemper rig. And I know a lot of you do that with the stage, which is an incredible piece of technology. But honestly, for me, at this price of like around $700, the thing is, I don't use all the features on the stage. I have a fairly minimal pedal setup and I have an amp that I've dialed in, a few amp settings that I love. And so this is like the one in a box and you're done solution that will then be a satellite off of my main Kemper rig where I manage all my rigs. And when I find something I really like, I'll drag it from the computer and rig manager onto here and then tweak it on my iPhone if I'm on the gig. So let's get this set in the computer and open up rig manager and see, ha see what happens. And there it is, jump into life. I like that backlit Kemper, it's pretty cool. See it's doing its thing. Uh, there is actually no power button or anything like that, so that's fairly simple. So before I play and drop rigs on this, I'm gonna go back um, to my Kemper rack unit and I'm just gonna play my rig and record it. Now, this is gonna go out stereo, so I'll record that stereo. And I'll just give you a sense of what it sounds like when I'm playing live. Now I had this here for show, but I can tell you when I play live, I never use this. If you're somebody who wants this, this much functionality, they've already got you covered on the Kemper stage. Uh, this is pretty cumbersome, I think, and is not what I'm looking for personally when I play live. Um, I don't use a bunch of performance settings and everything, so we can just go ahead and get the profiler remote out of the way now, because that has one less gear off my plate, and I'm happy about that. So let's see what my normal Kemper rig sounds like when I'm playing live. Here's kind of my standard. I'll turn a compressor on in the front of the whole rig. Um, I will turn on a Boss Super Overdrive SD1, and I'll have a DD7 with just kind of an analog uh, slapback delay kind of a thing. And then this will be kind of the core sound. <laughs> distorted if I wanted to take a lead I have a boost here songs where I'll trigger like a chorus or a flanger and usually I'll just lean over and hit one of these. Or maybe I'll use the flanger. 
Let's do the work to get in Rig Manager and drop in my rig on the player and put the player next to my pedal board and simulate what it'd be like to just have it all on one board. I'm dreaming now. I would love to just carry on one rig if I'm flying somewhere to play and just have it all on one board. So let's see how that works. All right, so the only delay so far is what's new in Rig Manager 3.5. Apparently I need to update. Add support for the profiler player. It's so new I need to install my updates. So I'll do that now. It's powered on, it's alive, and it comes stock with a whole bunch of rigs. I'll show you here in Rig Manager what comes with it. Uh, let's just cycle through a few sounds. And actually, before I even do that, let me just show you the buttons. So check these buttons out. If I go this way, I'm cycling between rigs, up and then down. So here's... Here. This one's labeled 2011 More Gain AC20. And then to explain up here, you have two effects. So they have two pre-programmed in here, which of course you can change. But I'll, I'll turn one on, we'll see. And then as far as the effects, you can assign those to any of these buttons. It comes default that Button two will turn on effects one. That's a nice sound. That's a nice sound there. And then, of course, what you can do here is turn the gain all the way down if you want a super clean sound. to get extreme gain, even to the point of feedback. But I put it about where it was from the factory, which is about uh, just under halfway, probably. So you get the idea, it's a lot of the Kemper kind of stock profiles that you're used to. And then I'm paging up, paging down, I'm turning on an effect, I'm turning off an effect. Um, I have that gain setting. Crank up the gain if I want. Um, and then I have basic EQs here. I have the master volume, which I've already kind of preset, which is global across everything. Now, let's put my rig uh, that we heard on the Kemper rack on here and see how it translates. All right, so I've got my same rig loaded in the player. I've got it at the end of my board. And like I said, I'm gonna put all this on one board, including my in-ears receiver, the Shure in-ears receiver, so that everything's in one place. Here's just how the clean profile sounds through the player. Let's kick out my normal kind of always on stuff. 
It comes loaded with 50 profiles, which you can replace using Rig Manager. The last thing I want to do is sync this up to my iPhone and see what it's like to control it from my phone. I think that'll be super cool. Last step. All right, at first attempt, I can't get it to sync with my Rig Manager on my phone yet, but I'm going to get that going. I'm going to dial in the custom presets for the buttons. I have a much better idea of what I'm going to do with that now. And I'm just dreaming of putting all this on one board, having access to some amazing Kemper profiles. I want you to drop a comment and let me know what you think of the Kemper player. What does it compare to? I can show you definitely something that's replacing for me. I hope to replace the HX Stomp, which I love. Um, but to me, it's the sound of Kemper and it's, our, it's what I put time building in these profiles and that's the reason I want to use the player above anything else. And to have that small footprint, I feel like you just can't beat it. So this will be my live rig when I'm going to front of house and I'm very excited to put this together. If you're in the market for any new gear, click to buy new gear using our link. You can also sign up for our giveaway. We're giving away that Martin D28. Do us a favor right now, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and sign up to win that guitar using the entry link in the description or pinned in the comments. See you on the next video with a more in-depth review of this, but I just wanted to give you a first look tonight since I'm so excited it came up. I had no idea it was gonna show up uh, this quickly. So very exciting. And uh, I got my live rig dialed into something I can carry on one pedal board now. And for that, I'm super excited.